Hi everyone, welcome back to the channel. Moving to the next question, what are the things coming under technical settings tab in SC11? The moment this question arrives, one should be able to visualize the screen of technical setting in SC11, which looks like this one. Okay, so the contents under technical setting are categorized into two different properties like general properties and database specific properties. General properties also has logical memory parameters, table sharing, buffering, buffering type, data changes. Okay, we'll see everything in detail now. Let's start with the general property and the logical memory parameter, which has data class describing what kind of data we are working on and the size category. It describes how much of the space is allocated to the table and basically the ranges for the size category are decided with respect to the data types used. Next is the table sharing, which uses sharing type. And the next one is buffering, which defines buffering permission. That is the table should be buffered or not. This also has three different types like buffering not allowed, buffering allowed but switched off and buffering activated. We are anyway going to see this in detail. So the next is buffering type. It defines that how and what all other types of record should get buffered. This has different types such as single record buffered, generic area buffered, fully buffered and the number of key fields okay this will be explained in our next session okay this is just an overview of the technical setting tab under sa11 okay so the next is data changes log changes it describes the changes made to the table entry should be maintained or not and the right access only with java is the option over data changes tab it will allow us to change the table contents within java okay and the next property is database specific it has storage type, which is applicable only if the database we are using is SAP HANA. It has three different type, column store, row store, and undefined one. Thank you.